Hey Aries, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below. Um, there was something else I was going to say. I do have another channel. It's not a tarot channel. I'm just kind of talking over there. I'm not really sure what to um, what to make of that yet. I'm just kind of going with the flow over there. If you want to check it out, the uh, link's down below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started here for you, Aries. This deck is really hard for me to shuffle um, when they're all together. If you're wondering why I was shuffling it in sections, it's just kind of difficult to do it like this without them flying everywhere. I have tiny hands, and this is a big deck of cards, okay? So just bear with me here. I'm going to do seven in an overall energy. Now, Aries, I want to remind you, um, you know, about the way that I read. Uh, this is all, these, each individual card can represent different situations. So I want you to know that right off the bat. Some of these situations are very specific with these cards. So who else got that card? Oh, I'm trying to think who got the March card. Libra, I want to say. You could have some Libra in your chart. Something significant could be happening in the month of March with a Libra. Um, you have Eagle as your overall energy. Triumph over troubles or obstacles. I think Capricorn had the Eagle as their overall. I could be wrong, but I know they had it somewhere in their reading. Um, you have Target as your first card out. A goal-oriented person. Okay, let's see what's going on. What's going on with Target for Aries? The moon reverse, the hermit upright, seven of wands. I feel like you have this laser focus about you here this week, Aries. Um, you have the moon in the reverse position. I think you figured some things out. You know, something's coming to the light. Something's coming to the surface here for you with the moon showing up in the reverse position. It can represent hidden things upright, okay? Um, and I think that you are, um, you know, realizing that you have a lot of reflecting to do because you have the uh, Hermit showing up here. This is a card of introspection. I think that this is uh, referring to your destiny or your legacy with the uh, star card being on the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like you know what you want or you're figuring that out here with that Seven of Wands energy showing up, okay? So I feel like there could be some like retreating, some isolation. I feel like you could be withdrawing from others to try to figure things out here. Like how do I stand out? That's the kind of energy that I feel you in uh, trying to figure that out. You have Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success, okay? Deep personal strength and peace that assure su success, okay? What's going on with this here? What's going on with that? What's going on with the Valley card? Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius. What else? You could be coming up with a new strategy for success, okay? I think that's why Target is here as well. Um, Seven of Swords can be a card of strategy. You know, traditionally his land was invaded. He had to figure out how to get things back from those who invaded his land. He had to come up with um, a strategy, okay? Can be a card of theft because of that reason. Uh, trickery, deception, right? This could even be you deceiving yourself. You have the King of Swords here. That's a card of truth, honesty. He's the only court card who will face you straight. So to me that speaks a lot about, you know, knowing the truth, accepting the truth truth, seeing it, speaking it. What else? And I think that's another way that assures success here. Yeah, Ten of Cups, that's a card of happiness, is honoring your truth, you know, uh, with the Seven of Swords, not cheating yourself out of living in your truth, right? Because I feel like the more that you speak truth, the more that you are going to attract true energies. Um, so yeah, I, I think that that's something that's important to recognize here as well. Um, you know, speaking your truth, honoring your truth, respecting the truth of others here. Um, you know, that you could have a lot of unanswered questions, and you know, once you start, you know, stepping into that energy of not being afraid to sit in your truth, I feel like you start to receive the answers to those questions. You start to receive truth, uh, what you put out, you're uh, getting back. You have wind chimes, peace and harmony. So what's going on with this here for Aries? King of Cups, Scorpio. Got a Scorpio card here. What else? Okay, Five of Cups, more Scorpio energy. More specifically, Mars and Scorpio, we have the Hangman, Pisces. This is showing up under peace and harmony, not calling you Pisces. It's the Hangman is Pisces energy here. I think you're seeing a loss in a different light. Um, you know, with that Five of Cups, that can be loss, disappointment, regret, grief. 
um, things of that nature, guilt for some of you. You have that King of Cups here as well. King of Cups is someone who's comfortable sitting in any emotion, even the darkest emotions. I feel like you are, um, you know, getting comfortable with that. And it's not necessarily like, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to unpack and stay a while in this grief and sorrow. That's not how it feels to me. It's more like it is what it is. You know, um, it's a feeling that's going to come and go like seasons, you know. It's going to come and go like a visitor. You have the Hangman right here as well. So just really surrendering to that energy, I feel, is getting you through it a lot easier, believe it or not, okay. So yeah, you know, um... You definitely don't want to get in a space where you're drowning in that, but I think that you're able to comfortably sit with it here, Aries, so I do like that for you. Um, you have the ladder, climbing towards success. And I think that was a loss that you could have experienced, um, you know, not really a long time ago, but I don't feel that it was recent. I think that this is helping you to get through that. Also tuning into a different perspective about the loss, like what do I have left, you know? In the Five of Cups, he's got um, the two cups left standing behind him, so it's like, let me make the most of what I've got right there. You know, the hangman can talk about tuning into a different perspective. You'll see the crown lit up there in that card. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like that could be going on with you as well. Let's look at ladder, climbing towards success. What's going on with ladder here? Three of cups, Mercury and Cancer, the world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Definitely see you getting a lot of um, recognition here where maybe there was a lot of silence or you felt like you weren't um, being seen or heard here, Aries, with the Four of Swords energy showing up. Uh, this man is sleeping in the card. You could have just felt like people were not seeing you, you know. Um, and again, I feel like you are receiving answers as to how to get out of that energy. You have the Three of Cups. It's a card of community, celebration, a harvest, coming together, reunion. You have the World card right here as well. She's in the center of that wreath. So I definitely see you getting a lot of attention here from the community. Could be on social media. You know, there was something that people were not seeing about you. I think they're seeing that now. So, uh, yeah, some kind of craft or skill of yours, possibly. Um, so that looks really exciting for you. You have lightning. Control your anger. You will be sorry. My goodness. Okay. What's going on with that? Four of Cups, Moon, and Cancer. Page of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Wands, Mars, and Aries. I feel like you're really going to want to watch your words, you know. Intention is the most important thing, but you really have to watch what you're putting out there to the universe here. When you say things like, you know, this is a, da a disaster, this is a catastrophe, you know, and it's something minor, like, you know, you spilled your water, right? It's like you, you really need to watch out for words like that, the way that you're putting things out here and the way that you're expressing yourself to others. Um... I'm also getting, you know, that for some of you, it's about the way you're you're just coming across, you know. I don't think you're expressing much, um, you know, verbally. So I feel like there could be some silent, you know, some of the silent treatment going on here. Somebody could have their moon in cancer. This could be an air sign you're connecting with here. But, yeah, um, I feel you in a little bit of a pouty energy um, this week here, okay. I, I see you kind of blowing things out of proportion a little bit, um, especially with that two of wands showing up. This is somebody who uh, can sometimes act on impulse. You have that page of swords here because there's a lot of, um, you know, mental energy. There's a lot going on in the headspace. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, you're taking, you're, you're speaking too soon or you're reacting too soon. You definitely want to pay attention to your reactions and your responses here. Um, you know, especially for those of you who are blowing problems out of proportion because you're going to get those problems that you're talking about. Um, you know, you're talking about a disaster. There's going to be a real one, you know. Um, it's things like that that you're really going to want to watch out for here, okay. So definitely try to remain in a space of gratitude. Try to turn around to those other two cups here. You have March showing up as well. I feel like you, you, you have a lot, okay? So I think you're forgetting that here. What's going on with March? The hair font, two of pentacles. Uh, there's a marriage or a commitment that's really unstable. I think that could be stabilizing by the month of March, but there's a lot going on with it this week here, okay? Two of swords in the reverse position. Something comes out. Like I feel like the two of you have been holding on to a lot. It just doesn't seem like you're really on the same page here about finances. Um, is the energy that I get about finances or duties, obligations, responsibilities. Two of Swords reversed like, and Two of Pentacles upright. Things seem out of balance here. So um, definitely coming up with a new routine or new, um, you know, the, because the hair font can talk about foundations, structures, uh, things of that nature. So, yeah, I think there needs to be... Um, Something needs to be altered here. Something needs to be tweaked. Like um, the old system, the old way of doing things, it does not work anymore. The two of you have gone through different things. 
or have gone in different directions, have started new things, picked up new responsibilities. It's something like that here where that has to be discussed, that has to be talked about here, okay? Otherwise, I see some problems continuing all the way to March, maybe even worsening if that's not to be talked about. You have vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Goodness, rough week here, Aries. I mean, it starts off you just, you know, being super focused here on, um, you know, your legacy, what it is that you're bringing into the world, what it is that you're leaving behind. Um, what's going on with Vulture? And then it slowly turns into this energy of just, what have I lost? You know, what what can I not achieve? I feel like you're just in a really pessimistic, cynical kind of space. You want to really get out of that here. Yeah, um, Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. I mean, is that the truth here? Is somebody against you? The High Priestess. Um, seven of Cups. I would say no. You know, the Seven of Cups is a card of illusion. Um, temptation, fantasy. Um, you have that high priestess though, so something's hidden. I mean, I, I think that you feel what what you're feeling is not is not completely an illusion, but I don't think that uh, I don't think that somebody's necessarily working against you here, Aries. If that makes sense, it's like you feel something's off, and you're right, but it's not coming from someone else. It's coming from inside the house here, Aries. <laughs> you got that high priestess. This is something behind the veil here. So yeah, I definitely feel like some um, work is to be done here. I think a lot of you have a lot of uh, past issues to let go of. You got the seven of pentacles here. He's really focused on those pentacles piled up on the side over here. There's one on the other side that he's not looking at. This is all about perspective. You know, truly, it's all about perspective. You're just not seeing what you have or you're just not seeing where you can go. Six of swords, you're seeing, you know, where you are and where you've been. So, um, yeah, I feel like there needs to be more future, more future thinking here so you can have triumph over these obstacles. What was that? Mountain, um, major challenge to overcome. Yeah, okay, for sure. Take care of there will be a loss of material wealth. You, you've got a lot of these warnings showing up here. The good thing about tarot is this, this isn't just predictions. It's talking about possibilities, and you have free will. That, at any point in time, can overpower the cards. You have bear, danger, especially in money matters. Definitely, definitely watch out here. You have wall, misunderstanding. I feel like you're not really understanding where these issues are arising from. You have the leg. It's because you need to step into a new experience. There's something here that you have outgrown, okay? Or there's something here that's just no longer working. It's got to be changed. Maybe you're one um, that doesn't really like change, but sometimes it has to happen in order to make things work. So, um, yeah, that's what I feel going on here, Aries. A lot of, um, you know, reflection, um, a lot of finger pointing, but I, I do see you kind of um, moving that back to yourself and figuring out, you know, how can I take control of the situation? A lot of people don't really like to take accountability for that reason because they don't like to take blame, but, you know, if you aren't the problem, then you can't be the solution. I forget who says that. That's not mine, by the way. But, uh, yeah, I think you're, you're trying to figure out how you're part of the problem here, figuring out how you can fix this, okay? Because you do have the ladder, climbing towards success. I feel like you're on the way there, but, you know, I think there could be a few detours when it comes to the, the blame game kind of energy, right? Um, and just definitely keep an eye on your finances as well. But that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope that this was helpful, and I hope you'll watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me this far, and you enjoy your week. Bye.